Welcome back to Celestial Chronicles. I'm thrilled to have you here with us today. In this video, we're diving into the incredible story of David, one of the most fascinating and important figures in the Bible. We'll explore who David was, why he was so special to God, and what made him such a big deal in biblical history. So, sit back, relax, and let's embark on this journey together. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join our amazing community for more insightful videos on biblical characters and stories. David's story begins in the book of Samuel. He was the youngest son of Jesse, a shepherd from Bethlehem. His early life was quite humble, tending sheep in the fields. However, God had big plans for David. The prophet Samuel, guided by God's instructions, visited Jesse's family to anoint the next king of Israel. Despite being the youngest and least likely candidate, David was chosen because of his heart and character. David first gained national attention through his encounter with Goliath, the giant Philistine warrior. This story is one of the most famous in the Bible. Young David, armed with only a sling and a few stones, defeated Goliath with God's help. This victory not only showcased his bravery but also his deep faith in God. It was a turning point that set him on the path to becoming a beloved leader. What do you think was going through David's mind as he faced Goliath? How would you feel in his shoes? David is often referred to as a man after God's own heart. But what does that mean? It wasn't that David was perfect, far from it. He made significant mistakes, including committing adultery with Bathsheba and orchestrating her husband's death. Yet, despite his flaws, David had a genuine love for God and a desire to do his will. When he sinned, he was deeply remorseful and sought God's forgiveness with a repentant heart. One of the most remarkable aspects of David's life was his close relationship with God. He was a poet and musician, and many of the psalms in the Bible are attributed to him. These psalms reflect his wide range of emotions, from deep despair to joyous praise, showing his heartfelt connection with God. David's prayers and songs reveal his reliance on God in every aspect of his life. Have you ever turned to prayer or music to express your feelings to God? How did it help you? David eventually became the king of Israel, succeeding Saul. His reign was marked by military conquests, the unification of Israel, and the establishment of Jerusalem as the nation's capital. Under David's leadership, Israel became a powerful and prosperous kingdom. His decisions and actions, although not always flawless, were often guided by his commitment to God's commands. David's legacy extends far beyond his lifetime. He is considered the greatest king of Israel and a central figure in Jewish, Christian, and Islamic traditions. The promise God made to David, that his descendants would rule Israel forever, culminates in the belief that Jesus Christ is a direct descendant of David, fulfilling the prophecy of the Messiah. David's story teaches us many valuable lessons. His courage in facing Goliath reminds us that faith in God can help us overcome even the biggest challenges. His repentance after his sin shows the importance of seeking forgiveness and striving to live a life pleasing to God. His devotion and heartfelt prayers encourage us to develop a close relationship with God. Which lesson from David's life resonates most with you? How can you apply it to your own life? David's life is a testament to God's grace and the power of faith. Despite his imperfections, David's unwavering devotion to God made him a special and beloved figure. As we reflect on his story, we are reminded that God looks at our hearts and values our sincere efforts to follow him. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of David. We hope you found this video insightful and inspiring. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more fascinating stories from the Bible. Leave your thoughts and answers to the questions we discussed in the comments below, we love hearing from you. Until next time, stay blessed and keep seeking the heart of God.